What is up, Rad Potential YouTube? Welcome to today's Radformational video where we're going to be adjusting and resetting the base timing on the Rad X7. This car has a FuelTech FT450 and a full function engineering Hall Effect sensor kit. This has a Series 5 Turbo 2 engine in it, otherwise, single turbo, all the madness. But we're here to talk about timing. So, the difference and the reason I am resetting this, I set this car up interpreting the front pulley of an FC as if it was the same as an old school 13B12A carbureted model. The difference being the factory marks on the timing pulley are different between an old school 12A and a Series 5 or Series 4 FC engine. So we're going to walk through the difference between the two and then how I'm going to adjust that in the fuel tech software here we're going to use this lovely 12a as an easy example and i have the first timing mark marked right here so on an old school this mark is zero the first mark that comes around typically like you see on that engine over there it's marked with green sometimes they're marked with yellow etc so that is zero so as you advance your distributor when your timing lights flashing the pin is going to fire ahead of the white timing mark by the amount of degrees that you want to add the timing. So if you want 20, you go 20 millimeters in front of that mark. That is important for this video. The front pulley, the small pulley right here, this one, should only go on here one way. If you need to figure out how to find top dead center of your engine, I have a video detailing that. But these should only go on here one way, so your timing mark should be right to the engine. This pulley is also 360 millimeters in circumference. So what that means is the 360 degrees of a circle, each millimeter is one degree of the circle, thus one degree of timing. So in order to understand and set up the timing on your thing more accurately, I have taken a piece of tape right here and measured out 10 and 5 millimeter increments. So when I lay this piece of tape along the circumference of this pulley here, which this is a lot harder to do with one hand. So laying this piece of tape in here, lining up what is the zero mark right here with the zero mark on the pulley allows you to then mark 5 degrees, 15 degrees, 20 degrees, 25 degrees on your pulley. You can add those marks and then accurately set the timing to what your ECU or what you want in your distributor. So let's apply this over here to the FC. On an FC, the first timing mark on the pulley is actually minus 5 degrees from 0, and the second mark is minus 15 degrees. So I've went ahead and measured out down here. You can see my two white timing marks on there, and then you can also see minus 5 on the piece of tape, a 10 degrees on the piece of tape, and a 20 degrees on the piece of tape. So what that gets me is now I can mark in white again the 20 degree mark and the 10 degree mark on my pulley so that I can accurately set the timing in the computer or the crank offset such that the commanded timing from my ECU matches the actual timing of the end. Now you can see I've got three marks on my pulley there aligning with the marks I made on the tape. The reason that I'm using the tape is because that is, as I previously explained, measured out with my calipers exactly those millimeters plus or minus say half a mil. Laying that tape along the circumference of the pulley means I'm going that amount of millimeters in circumference thus equaling the degrees. Okay, So you could do this off the engine. You don't have to do it on here. Now you can also see the front cover has its pin on there and it's currently lined up with the 10 degree mark just where it happened to stop at okay and I aligned it so I could put the tape on but now what I need to do is my computer when the car is running at idle I'm commanding 20 degrees of timing when my timing light is firing I need to see 20 degrees on the pulley where I had this set up wrong previously is interpreting it like an old school meant that what is on an FC is minus five, I thought that was zero. So I was actually commanding five degrees less timing than what my computer was saying. In the computer, in your fuel tech, and this will be different if you have a different ECU, 
or a different Hall effect sensor, Full Function Engineering has an Excel spreadsheet that details exactly how to set up their FC crank angle kit in a Fuel Tech ECU. So you come in here, Hall VR with pull up, 36 1 which is the tooth count on the front and your crank index position in degrees. So you can see I've got mine dialed down to 45. They recommend 60. 60 wasn't exactly what I needed it, but start there, it gets you close, continue on. There are variations in FC pulleys. There, This may not even be the right pulley on here. I am going to verify TDC in this engine to TDC on the front of it again, just to be sure. But make sure that you TDC, verify zero, then set all this up. It's plus or minus a little bit. Regardless, follow the directions on their stuff, get this thing set up. So I'm going to fire this thing off here. I'm going to remove this tape. Okay, this is literally all it was. Minus five lined up with the minus five, and then I've got 10 and 20, which is 15 and 10 millimeters past minus five, respectively. So you can ditch the tape. I'm going to start this. And I'm going to set the offset angle, okay, such that the timing on the front pulley matches the timing that I'm commanding from the computer. So we're tuning this thing, right? So right here we have ignition timing. It should be right about 20, which is what my map says. It's jumping around a little bit, and you can lock that in there. So we're going to go ahead and take this and fire it, and you're going to see my three marks there, barely, but I'm firing perfectly on my 20-degree mark. So the 20 and the 20 matching means we're firing the ECU timing at the correct part for the engine, which is huge. Gotta have that. If it's being weird and doing stuff and you're firing in the wrong zone and everything, you're gonna get pops and bangs, not the good kind, you're gonna break stuff. So make sure you have this zero. But with that being set, then uh, that's all you gotta do. That's zeroing your timing. So I ended up with, uh, let's see, go down over here in settings to RPM signal. I ended up with 45 degrees, which is plus 5T, and that's about where I'm at to get the timing I want. So pretty happy with that. I've been doing a lot of tuning on it this week. Just wanted to go ahead, since I was doing this, make this video to show you guys exactly uh, how that needs to be set up. You turn this thing off so you don't have to listen to it. And basically, I'm fired up. It's fired up. It's firing up more better. And uh, we're going to get this thing dialed and running good. So with that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I know that I learned at Deals Gap and researching and stuff that the FC timing marks are different than the old school stuff. And I'd largely just set up old school stuff on FDs and the newer cars. Whenever you're looking at stock ignition stuff, those pulleys and engines, when I rebuilt them, typically only go back on one way. But when you've put together an engine that has, you know, a universal Hall Effect sensor kit on it effectively, and an ECU that does not have any base settings, you have to figure out the reference angle between the two. So. That is super fun. And like I mentioned it earlier in the video, full function engineering provides the data, which is a good starting point. As you can see, they were saying 60. We were only at 45, so we were 15 degrees off. But 60 would have definitely gotten you where when you had your timing light on the front of the engine, that you're going to be seeing the light and seeing your timing marks. Okay, so just make sure that you're getting it in the zone. And if you have an unknown front pulley, if it goes on there more than one way, definitely make sure that your engine top dead center and your pulley top dead center are correct because that's just a recipe for disaster. And I've done that before. So keep your apex seals happy. 
make your spark plugs fire at the right time. So with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I hope you learned something. Glad we're getting this thing sorted out. Glad you guys are enjoying the videos. I did, in the previous video, list a bunch of parts for sale, and I am sifting through all the people who are buying some stuff, and I've got people coming to get stuff and the whole deal. So we're getting rid of some things that I don't need, which is a win, so we can stick all of the cool parts that we're trading for back into this. Keep it red. Jeffy, what'd you bring me, bud? This isn't Letty. Letty's outside. Jeffy is my friend Jacob's dog, and Jeffy likes to mulch up sticks in the garage. He also likes to bring you things to throw. The Blue Healer Husky Mix right here is the most laser-focused dog that you've ever seen. Jeffy. Hey, Jeffy. Can I have your stick? Hey, you ready? You ready? Look at, the, look at this focus, guys. Look at this. This is literally like a chunk of spongy wood. And if I threw this out the door, he would go find this exact chunk. No matter how far I threw it into the woods, he would bring me this piece. Ready? Ready? Cool. Look at that. Look at that focus. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, watch the car, bud. Oh. You ready? Look at this focus right here. He lives for the stick. Or a tennis ball. Tennis ball is his jam. All right. Y'all have one for night. Where'd it go, Jeffy? Where'd it go? We're going to close out this video waiting for Jeffy to bring a stick back. Come on. Where'd it go? Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Jeffy! I don't think that's the same stick, but that's a stick. <laughs> Peace, guys.